Welcome everybody, I am Bones. Uh, you've seen me do this game before, but today we're going to do something a little different to start with at least. We're going to do... Uh, I want to show you around a little more in this game, and we're going to do some offline bots today. Here we have Chad. Um, now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the different counselors all have different stats, different things are good for. Since we played this before, they put in Mitch, Fox, who they were lobbying for. I had to get in contact with a member of her family, and Sheldon. Uh, if you don't remember Sheldon, boy, you need to watch part 3 again. Sheldon is actually the one to thank for Jason's iconic hockey mask. So you'll see the counselors have different strengths, weaknesses. Um, a lot of people play Chad um, and buff him up where he can fight Jason well. A lot of people do the same with Bugsy. Oh boy, speaking of Bugsy here, I seem to have been missing. A stat for him. Um, I don't usually play the rest of these. I, I tend to stick with Chad, Bugsy, or on occasions Adam, uh, who is more like a souped up version of an earlier dude named Kenny. He, Adam is more of a hit and run type of character. Um, his, he keeps his cool, but with the good Jason composure, really doesn't matter. And of course, the Jasons. Each has their Best, each has their worst. Eight is one of my favorites. He's not the easiest to play, but when you get used to him, he's a beast. This one here is a pretty interesting one. Um, in that he is more a boogeyman type. If you're good with getting to jump from one place to another, this is a guy that is one of my favorites for that. He, his morph ability, aka his map ability, is great. He's not as good at catching up to people. He gets his ass kicked very easily. Very easily. Um, to the point where I think it's almost unfair for this dude. But, when it comes down to controlling a whole map of people and keeping them scattered, he's good if you know what to do with them. This is your all-around Jason. I would say this is more like your, your classic living Jason. This is the guy you want to play. Now this guy I have not unlocked yet. Um, that is my annoying ass cat in the background there. Space cat. Today he's being very bitchy with me so he's annoying. Um, now this guy is a newer Jason. Uh, we'll say if you haven't seen the Jasons I don't want to spoil anything. We'll just say he's different for a reason. Um, he's not too shabby actually. Um, Again, the defense and stun resistance make him one that you don't want to let hit you. Eight and seven are my two favorites right now. Um, the undead ones can't run. Seven is one of those unfortunate accidents in that he was a great idea, but the undead one not being able to run make him a... Uh, I don't use him. There's no point. Now, there's a big debate going on right now, and we're going to do an offline match so that you guys get to see a few matches with me as Jason for a change. But I also want to talk to you guys for a minute about what's going on here with this controversy, and the controversy is simple. Um, well, actually, eh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll show you, uh, I'll try to do a match with each of my, each of the ones that I like. You'll see what I mean. This guy here, not the best to fight, but he is a brute when it comes down to getting where you need to be. So if you don't know much about this game, by the way, let me let me verify this. Then I'll, as I play this, explain the controversy going out this game right now. Because it's all over the game forums. They're very toxic because people are yelling at each other about it. There are two main camps in this game. The counselors and the Jasons and people who like playing one or the other better. Um... The counselors in this game are supposed to try and hit three main objectives. Aside from calling Tommy Jarvis, you're trying to fix the phone to call the cops, you're trying to fix the vehicles. Making that the things that they're supposed to be doing. This Jason is one who you use to basically hound their objectives and stop them from doing those things. He's a very, um, I call him, he's a good Jason for goals. If you're Jason who's trying to stop people from doing what you need, they need to do, this is the guy you need. 
Um, now, there's a foam box, so we're going to trap that, so that even if they can fix it, that's going to hurt them. Now, I didn't place them where I probably should have, but we're playing bots, which are smart, but they don't troll you like people do. Um, now, that leads me to my segue into this. I also break down every damn door I can early to prep all my chases for later, because I ain't no bitch. She just literally tried to put herself in the window. Well, alright, lady. I'll let you go for now. I got other things to worry about. For one thing, um, I do like to... I'm not worried about that right now. I get the doors open as soon as possible. That way I can... Are you kidding me? Well, that's Sheldon. That's not a lady. Sheldon Finkelstein. So we're going to hit four. As you can see... That lets us do one of our kills. Um, you can change the kills you want to use. Uh, as you can see, the bots are a little silly. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. I've had some that are very devious. This asshole behind me is clearly not one of them. Now, the big controversy right now with this game, though, is that people are very upset because of the fact that right now, and this is true, I've seen it myself, there is a... Oh, two dead right off the bat. That's not too shabby, folks. Now let's go ahead. Oh, we're just gonna not waste any TP here. I'll go and trap this car, and then I'll go get the other up. Um, somebody's already worked on the car quite a bit, so we need to trap that so they can't get in there without hurting them. So won't stop them, but it'll help me. Um, and with that, we're gonna head on over to the other car and make sure that that's not in running order. And if it is, we need to stop them from working on that. Now, uh, if you are a Jason, one other thing you do need to keep an eye on is you want to keep the power out to as many of these places as you can. They're scared, they can't call Tommy if the power's out, there are other issues they have too. But mainly those are things you should be working on and looking for and trying to make happen. Um, and again, you see each Jason gets traps to help him sort of round people up where he wants them to be. This Jason is just a beast when it comes down to making this shit happen. Um, now, the problem is, uh, due to the balancing of the game, originally, you, Jason could just grab the shit out of you too easy and you were dead and there was not much to do. Counselor was a bitch, they changed it. They have tried since to make it fair and make it fun for everybody, but the problem is, you all know the first thing multiplayers do in a game is find ways to exploit the game, mess with it, make it unfair, and frankly just kind of unfun for everybody. Um, and these folks have had a great time basically finding ways to troll Jason. The big problem now is that groups of them can surround him. Um, and I play both Jason and Counselor like I have my main set to Jason, but I'll be honest, I enjoy Counselor just as much, and I end up as Counselor a lot. So, what happens is, you'll get these Counselors who keep surrounding Jason in a circle and just kicking the holy shit out of him, and he can't move. Um, now I've seen Jasons who are level 90 just log out, just quit the match in frustration, and this is a problem more and more and more. Um, and people will get mad because I'm saying this, because it's always, like I said, the forums are very toxic with people who don't want to hear this right now because they want to live in their little world where they get to, get to mess with Jason and everything's all good. Me, I like to try and make sure that uh, if they try to gang up on me, I get cheap about it and I will just slash, a, slash one or two to death right off the bat and whittle my numbers down and make them easier to manage. Uh, and people bitch about that too, but I really don't care. If you're going to be cheap with me, I'm cheap with you, and that's it. It's good for one, is good for the other, right? And I'm a firm believer that if I'm going to be trolled and fucked with by experienced players, then I'm going to make sure that I make life hard for them. If that comes in the form of just a simple um, just a simple 
kill or two, I really don't care. Um, everybody gets mad when you don't do the grab kills and all that, and of course that's why we want to see it. Because those are fun and cool, but it's also really up to the player, you know, and... Uh, so here's the controversy now. I've told you all a little bit about what's going on, is that the player character is, well, he's already tough. Well, yeah, but he's supposed to be tough. That's why he's Jason. So they bitch about that. The other people, well, I don't think it's fair that you're, you know, why are you all complaining about this? Because it shouldn't be so, blah, blah, blah. Who cares if he's supposed to be Jason? He shouldn't be indestructible, blah, blah. Well, clearly those people have never seen a fucking Jason movie. They know he is very much uh, a killing machine, and that's what he does. The whole point of this game is to beat the odds and get the hell out of here. Not to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jason and try and destroy him. Although you can kill him in this game, um, I don't let people kill me. I'm the guy who, who is not dumb enough to do that. And Yahtzee. Uh, and I get pretty sneaky about it if I need to, but I do not let people kill me. If I, like I said, I just had to slash people to death, and then vamoose, uh, and then come back when one of them is injured. Now these are your traps lighting up, telling me that somebody has been dumb enough to come around here and set one off. Um, what you're really looking for, though, guys, are these little these little echo location dots here, like a freaking bat. And you want to go through there. And again, my cat is talking to me, but I really don't know why. I've already fed him today. Fed him his wet food, because cats love their wet food. And my cat is a fiend for wet food, man. He goes crazy for it. Um, so he should be a happy little cat, but no, he's very bitchy today. I don't know what his deal is. He's even had his catnip study. He ought to be like Bob Marley Mellow. He ought to be the Bob Marley cats. Meow Marley. I know it's not a great joke, but it's all I had, right? I'm not really going to hit anything here, and I didn't expect to, but we're just kind of... Whittle down the hiding places. Whittle down everything we can. And that's one thing that I do try to do in Jason, is destroy all the cabin doors as quick as I can. Uh, as quick as I can. Um, I know that it doesn't do anything per se, um, but it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, and one of these little assholes aren't able to get away, because like I said, they do troll you a lot more than they used to. Case in point. The knives used to be a little rare, and I don't have a problem with them being uh, more common, but I do have a problem with both them and first aid being more common, and then people bitching when you slash them. I'm not going to be dumb enough to try and grab you if I think I'm just going to get stabbed and stunned and then have 80 of your friends run up, you know, or even 4 of your friends and stun the shit on me the rest of the match. That may be funny for you, but uh, well, there's no point in playing at that rate. Um, now there's a big bitch about it. The developers will see what happens. I'd be curious to see what happens. I don't know why they keep going back to this one this time. I do think I should be more conscious of what's going on with the cards than I'm not. Because I do believe that one of them is going to pull a fast one on me with the card this round. Normally, uh, I would advise you all if you're playing real people to keep hitting those three objectives over and over, all three. Always all three. You know. Now this is one of my favorites. Here. I like to call it, I hear you knocking but you can't come in. It's a dead joke, guys. It's a dead joke. Oh well. See what I tell you about that damn car. This asshole here just wrecked it. So now he's going to be dumb enough to come over here. And I messed him earlier, so I'm hoping I can just end this now. I can see you. But you can't see me. Um, so. I'm kind of just showing this off a little bit, too, to show you guys the different kills. And again, you can customize your Jason. You know, you want this guy to be the way you want him. That's that's good. But one thing that I like in particular is that you can 
change up your Jasons, and I think I just missed something else on the map here, but I'll go back to it. I'm all about the numbers today, guys. All about the numbers. And there we are. I knew it, you little bitch. Now, I'm not saying little bitch in relation to any one person, but I really don't give a fuck if you're triggered or not. I, I don't... That shit annoys me out of hell. But I'm in, you know, again, I grew up in a tougher time. You didn't like something, something, someone else said. You grew a set of balls, you told them, knock it off or fuck off. And that was it, you moved on with your day. You didn't let it ruin your day. Because stupid people are stupid, and stupid people, um, well, not stupid like dumb, but people that insult you, people that you don't like, they're not going to change no matter how much you like them. So don't waste your breath on moral implications of triggers and... I'm triggered and that's triggered. You're just wasting your own time, man. And don't bother. Don't do that to yourself. Have enough self-respect not to do that. Anyways, so the big problem with this game has quickly become, this has become a pissing match between groups of people. You know, the Jasons are, oh no, get better at being Jason. Other Jasons are like, yes, this does suck. The counselors are loving it because no one can decide. Um, for sure, he's right and wrong in this, but I'm going to tell you flat out, because I don't bullshit all my Let's Play watchers, that the stun in this game is horribly fucking broken if you're Jason. Horribly broken to a degree that it is not even worth fucking with. Um, if you get a good group, a good group of counselors, I don't quit. I never log out, I never rage quit, I don't believe it. But I've had one time or two where I've been so frustrated that I've actually just kind of sat there and just let them dick around and chilled out in the water. And then waited for them to come in the water and then killed them. Because someone is always going to try and outswim Jason and I don't understand why because you think they'd know better but no, no one does. Can you hear me? How about now? If any kills overkill, that's the one right there. Now again, we're only doing some offline bots, and I'm doing this just to show you more of the game. Um, in the finale of this, I'm actually going to play a live game again, where I may or may not be Jason. Um, but I want you guys to watch the match yourself and judge for yourself. Now that we've talked about this and you've seen this, I want you guys to decide for yourself what you think. Do you think I am correct? Do you think I am wrong? Is this what's going on? Yes, I have my phone by me for a change. You'll have to forgive me for that. Um, we've had a heck of a busy two or three days. Um, here in Michigan, actually, today they're showing the Dark Crystal in theaters. And it's quite a drive, but we're going to go see it. So uh, I'm excited about that, actually. I haven't seen the Dark Crystal since I was a kid. We're doing another lake, which means we're doing another Jason. I haven't done this puppy in a while, but I am actually going to go ahead and go with one of my favorites here. Um, and I'll tell you what I like about this one, too. Now, this guy here to me is who I call the Beast Jason. He is... Jason Takes Manhattan, probably the movie I liked least in the series. Um, I think the director, even Kane Hodder, has spoken about how he wished the director had explained some of the things in it more. Because even just by explaining them, they would have been less cheesy. Um, that what made them cheesier was him not explaining it. By the way, in the beta testing of this, it was a woman killed every time. Uh, I think just to ease the blow of the violence, period. Uh, that is what made Gun Media and Elphonic decide to change it to a, a male, I don't know, or maybe, maybe feminists were giving up too much shit. Um, who knows, but for some reason now it's a uh, guy every time. I would like to see it uh, a mix, you know, make it equal. Sometimes male, sometimes female. That is uh, equal equality right there. Equal equality. I talk so good. That is equality right there, that is. Now watch how few hits he needs, see? So, 
You'll notice some of the doors take more hits than others. There's a little rhythm to that. Um, but anything with a high destruction is going to waste those doors nice and easy. You'll also notice he doesn't have as many traps. I and mean, if you watch the other little symbol that are throwing knives, you can pick them up. You saw me do that the last match. You'll see me do that here. But they are... I'm going to get out of here in a minute here. I'm just trying to key up a few of these windows. The objective idea is that when the windows are broken, they will not be able to be jumped through without damaging the player. Now, I, uh, that something isn't right with it right now, I don't know. But it's not the way it's supposed to be right now. Oh, God. And by the way, I told you guys some bad information earlier. I'm sorry. It's not that those... Hey, Chad, right off the bat. Chad is my favorite to beat the hell out of next to Tommy. Tommy is the one I always beat the shit out of because he's Jason's nemesis, and I feel like that's just good game playing. Um, I mean, if, you know... I've seen every single Friday the 13th movie for years and years and years. I don't know where you are, buddy, but I'm going to waste this room because I don't see any open windows back here, which means you're still hiding. Which is a dumb move. But I really pick two things he wasn't under, and then he's going to be under this one. Usually a little better at this. But we got him in the end, so it doesn't matter. Chad is the luckiest, I think, because luck is the highest. Um, I'd have to check the stats again, but I play him because he... Yeah. With the right perks, he's insane um, to try and combat against. I don't know, I've, I've dealt with quite a few Chad players who have pissed me the hell off, but... I still give them credit, man. I give them credit for what they are and what they do, you know? Uh, now... This Jason doesn't have the luxury of setting traps around these generators so they can't be turned down. He doesn't have that money. He has five, which is still a, a respectable amount. Um, we're actually going to leave this player alive for now. And the reason is because we're, we're headed over here back to the car. So I'll let them freak out and scream and run, whatever they want to do. I'm more worried about making sure this car doesn't go anywhere. Now, as I was saying, the thing I forgot about, um, and you have to forgive me, guys. I have not had my coffee today, which, yes, does make a huge difference with me. If you see my Let's Plays, you know it. Um, if I remember right, that symbol on my map doesn't mean that somebody's tripped the trap. It just means I've set a trap. It is. It tells me... You see that bullshit? La Chapa tried to kick my ass. Now that is Jason stunned, and right there, that is a little more realistic in how the game, I think, the developers wanted it to go. You know, they take a stab at Jason, and then they run again. And, uh, this dude is bugs, so we're gonna take advantage of it. And kick the holy shit out of La Chapa, which I'm sorry, La Chapa, but you gotta die, son. That's just the way it goes. Everybody dies when you're in a Jason game. If you can help it. Now, the odds look impossible. You'd be shocked how many times I have gotten bested. Um, I think I've been killed once. Once in all the games I've played. And that was actually my own fault. I was playing very sloppy. But ever since then, no one has ever killed me in a Jason game. They've tried! I'm smart enough to get the hell out of Dodge when they try it, and then do other things to make sure they don't. The window kill's an easy kill. You can throw them through a, a fully working yeah. window, by the way. It doesn't have to be Beautiful a, mother. a um, head window like that. I don't know what the hell the was there. Hi, guys! There's Shelly. I don't like him having that gun, so let's stop that shit right off the bat. Hey, better, 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 swing better. Uh, now, what do I think the future of this is going to be? I would like to ideally 
not necessarily see either side get weaker. I would like to see some of these strategies and how they deal with this. Somebody on the forums had a great idea that what if Jason could actually, like, block, and if he blocks, he knocks the counselor's weapon out of their hand. Um, and I, I think that would be one good way. Another way would be to stop stuns, because each stun is like three seconds. And, and to explain this better to you all, what's really happening here is these guys will take turns stunning Jason in a circle, so that every time the stun wears off, another one just hits him immediately, and that timer begins again. Basically stopping the stun from working the way the stun should. Also, if you're playing Jason, kill the damn radios. Um, they mess up your sense, so you don't know who's in a building or not, because the radials will fool you into thinking somebody's there, and you want the least amount of sneakery when dealing with these little shit counselors, as you can get, because they're already quite clever. One thing on the counselor side you want to be doing, uh, if you'll pay attention here, is stop hiding in obvious places. Um, don't even hide. You know where I hide? I hide outside, and I keep moving. Don't stand still, ever. Um, don't hide near the objectives, don't group yourself near the objectives, because most adjacents are going to be hitting those up like it's your mom and she's home alone. So, you want to keep away from that shit as much as you can. You want to spice it up a little, and you want to stop people, uh, to stop at the flashlights, guys. Now, this is something that has to be addressed. It has to be addressed. It really does. See, there's a sneaky little shit in here now, guys. And what happens is, all these people will go and use... Um, yeah, you can shut these doors down, too, by the way. I usually don't, because it's just a waste of time, but... You can. Always oh, up there. See that shit, guys? Sneaky Beaky. And it's Kenny. I don't really mind the fireworks. I don't understand why they affect Jason if he grew up in a camp. But, you know, again, he's got the mentality of an angry kid, so... Well, I don't know about angry kid, but at least an angry teenager, at the very least. So I can see that shit, I can. So I think, uh, more than anything else, it makes sense. But, do I think he should get dropped by things? The gun, yes. The other weapons, not so much. Um, or if he gets dropped, the timer should be by far less, you know. A bladed weapon, sure, I could see dropping his ass, because that shit still hurts, man. But some of these other things, no. Now this one's a special freak for you guys. It's not a kill I get to do all the time. When I get to do it against player characters, it's a lot of fun because you usually don't get a hold of them when you first go like that. Everybody has a damn pocket knife nowadays, and it makes it really hard to get your kills in. Um, so, yeah, I don't normally get away with getting that many kills uh, that are grab kills that easily. The bats are good to practice for more than just killing. They're good to practice for practicing how quick you can get to one location, how well you're guarding another. Um, so if you do get this game, use the offline bats a lot. And if you're not good with Jason, or you don't know how to use them right, practice with that. You'll see I have four numbers there. Two is your sun skill that shows you when people are scared to poop their pants. For fear you'll hear them, um, that is a good state for them to be in, because they light up like the 4th of July when I hit red. If they're out, if they're at a cabin, the cabin goes. When in doubt, follow the sound until you find the cabins. Now like I said, because I'm here, we're going to knock down a door, always. Not all Jasons do this, I've seen some that pretty much do what I call a fast hit, and that's pretty much where they will keep hitting areas, keep following sounds, and do nothing but follow sounds. I've seen the boogeymans, and they're... If you get somebody who's good at being a boogeyman, Jason, you are fucked to begin with. Let me just say that. 
Unless we got to trap this. Oh, that's because I'm out. A boogeyman Jason is exactly what it sounds like. It's somebody who uses a skill called stalk if you hit it and they don't have a direct line of sight. They don't see you and the music doesn't play. Great for sneaking up on people who think to themselves, oh, he's not here anymore. And then, bam, you just kick the holy shit out of them when they pee their pants and you're there. And I've already hit that place up, son of a bitch. And what I'm missing, people. So we're going to go down here. You see who I'm missing? And say hi. And I'm also going to grab this. I tend not to collect a lot of knives. I collect them as I go. If they're out of the way, I won't stop and get them because counselors move quick. Good counselors run all the time. Better counselors communicate. The thing I see a lot is counselors whose flashlights are never off, and that makes you a easy target for me to find um, no matter where you go. I don't care how fast you run, you have stamina in this game, and if I'm a fast-moving Jason, then I will eventually get you. And if I can't get you, I will wound you so I can catch up to you. That is where the throwing knives come in and have their power. Um, one thing I also do as Jason a lot, and I encourage Jasons to keep doing, is you have to hit those generators and control them. That is something you have got to do. If you're a shitty slow Jason, you make up for it with your stock ability, and you stock and you wait, and you creep up on people like some creepy ass, um, I don't know, like a creepy creep. Creepy creep, Jason. Now, why didn't you go after them, you say, Bones? Oh, I'm gonna. Um, the hardest players to play against, of course. No, no, hold on, let me show you this one. Rage is simple. You walk through shit, you barrel through it. It triggers throughout each match. Um, I believe getting your ass kicked a lot causes it to trigger quicker, so I know you're thinking, well, isn't that good then if Jason gets his ass kicked? If you're a diehard Jason movie fan, then it's going to piss you off for that reason. That's the reason it pisses me off. But it also pisses me off because it's not used for what I think it should be, which is the safety of the counselors and the dogged, heroic actions they can do. It is used to troll Jason and be little assholes, and that I do not abide by. The dude does not abide. Jenny Myers, run into this. I think it's safe to say by now they're not going to make their objectives, because that's just not happening. Um, but in a real game, do not be fooled. You would still have people trying to hit their objectives, hiding in places you would not expect them at all. Um, never, ever, ever, ever take shit for granted when it comes to the counselors in this game because, like that dude said in the remake, they will surprise you every damn time. Every time. You will think you know what's going on, you will think you know where they are, and you will be wrong every time. Um, because counselors have one great thing, and it's called a walkie talkie, and when you get one, you can talk to each other no matter where you are on the map. So if they're in a different room, it doesn't matter. They can still talk to you, you can still talk to them. Etc, etc. So a lot of them will use this to stage, okay, well, one of us is going to have to take a hit from the team, go and get the car ready, blah, 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 and they do this, and then you lose, because you've been waiting while they've been going and getting the car set up, and then four of them leave. Now if you're playing with seven people, that only leaves you three. At least two more fit in the other car. You have experience in this, so you can see where I'm going with this. The more that you're not killing, the worse off you're doing. Um, now, they don't hide anymore, the people that you normally play against. I cannot say I've seen a single counselor hide in a match in ages, months. And I've played this since beta, I got this as a Kickstarter, because I found out Kane Hodder was in it and Tom Savini did the gore. And being the horror geek I am, and if you know me, you know I am, 
Uh, I am a huge fan of Savini and a massive fan of Hatters. I love it. Uh, when I was a kid, dude, that was, that was my stuff right there. Jason, you know. So, I love those films. Oh my god, my cat scared the hell out of me. You will have to excuse Space Cat, guys. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if he has dementia. He's a little older. Or if uh, it is his... He has pancreatitis. I'm not sure if that's that acting up. Um, now, I went to the vet. For those of you who are going to lecture me, oh, you should just put him out of his misery. Uh, I have asked the vet if I should... If I was being selfish by keeping him alive, it was not easy to do, and if you're a pet owner and you really love your pet, you know what I mean. Um, and they assured me, no, he can leave a, you know, he can live a healthy, happy rest of his days. Um, he certainly doesn't want for anything, I tell you that. That cat runs this place and he knows it. Oh, look who it is! It's my old buddy Tommy fucking Jarvis. Who always, always dabs me right away, because he comes with a pocket knife now, guys. You haven't played this in a while since updates. And you you were like, Tommy's too weak. Well, he ain't now. He also actually comes with first state spray. So be aware of that little fact. Um, both if you're... And I don't know what the hell this was, but it's a bad decision for him. I'll tell you that shit. Oh, yeah. He's also much harder to stay grabbing unless you can wound him a little and then... What haven't I shown you guys yet? I don't think I've shown you this one. And I think that'll do it for these guys. So after this, I'll play a match or two, a real match. Let me check my time here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a real match. And I'll see what I can do for you guys. With that, now I, I'll probably be a counselor, even though I'm a Jason main. Um, there's a setting on who you'd rather play. There are people who just enjoy being the counselor, but again, it's because this game has become very easy to troll on. And I won't lie, even I get a I get a laugh, even if I'm Jason and someone's funny about trolling me. I'm usually not too pissed off. Um, when I kill them, I usually give them a pretty decent death for making me laugh when I kill them. There are times I cannot kill them. This one, you'll notice, actually, has taken me a lot longer to, you know, get to everybody. Um, and I wish I could tell you that it was all because I um, just got some master plan, but no, it's not it at all, actually. It's because I've been taking my sweet-ass time, and I should not have been. So, there's no one to blame for this one but me, frankly. Um, I'm not even going to pretend. Oh, Jesus. I, oh, thank you. Tiffany here. Tiffany is uh, a lot of people's favorite because usually guys consider her the pretty one and girls consider her the pretty one. So that's usually the one they all play as far as her. It's kind of sad. I don't know why the hell I'm wasting my time doing all this shit. Are there fucking two of them still alive? No. There's one of them. And I hate to go cheap, but... I haven't done this one in a while. That is a bad, bad kill. I was gonna say, if there were two of them and a minute left, I was not gonna go good. Um, now, all that there that you saw me do, don't get it, don't get it twisted. That looks great, but you're not gonna see any of that shit in action when I actually play, and you'll see why. The counselor is, we'll just say have a sense of humor, alright? Now, I'm going to warn you all, I don't know how the language is going to be in this next part, because we're going live. So if you're someplace you can't hear a lot of swearing, anything like that. Well, there we go, folks. In a Let's Play video, I leveled up, so that's pretty groovy. Um, I do like that they tell you how people got killed in it. I think it's pretty clever. Um, also, La Chapa was a Kickstarter reward. He paid to get put in the game, so they made his character. So now what you do, if you want to play with people, is you hit Quick Play. And this lets you go in and play. Now I'm not going to end up talking throughout the match, even if I'm not Jason as much. Um, I'm just going to kind of observe and play the counselor and do my bit. As I said, as a counselor, I have three objectives. I have to try and get my shit done. 
um, either get the car going, which needs a battery, gas, and a key. Get the boat going, which needs uh, gas and a propeller, but I don't think a key. And then the third one uh, is get the phone, which needs the phone fuse, and then you can call the cops, and you guys wait for the cops to get there, run to the area where the cops are, the exit where the cops are, and Jason can't uh, mess with you. Now I'm going to see which Jason I feel like being this time. Um, I feel like six is a good mix of things, but I haven't done old school in a while, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you know we're gonna go with six. Yeah. It might take longer with the doors, but 6 has a lot of throwing knives, and throwing knives, if you're good with them, can make all the difference, and I'm fairly good with them. So I see a lot of 5s. This is a Tom Savini. Jason here, who I lost out on, guys, and I'm really bummed, but I'm not going to bitch about it. What happened was, during the Kickstarter, uh, a lot of people were going off, and, uh, oh, hold on. Hey, everybody, say hi. You're on a, a Let's Play video. And nobody says hi. Hello, everyone. Are your mics working? My mic broke. Oh, shit, that's no good. Well, say hello. You're on a Let's Play video. I'm on a what? Let's Play video. Nice, Angry Baker. Nice. But at least I can see we're going to have a fun group. Also, I don't know what's going on with the Savini thing either. Um, now, what he's talking about here, guys, is there were a bunch of Savinis. Um, I see we have a comedian here. That were offered, the, the ability to buy him was offered way back when the Kickstarter happened. After the Kickstarter happened, you lost that ability. A lot of people, for some reason, didn't read that there was a time limit. Now, I didn't read there was a time limit. I just saw, oh, that's something I could buy. I just assumed it was later. I actually didn't read the whole blurb about it. So I knew nothing about it. Um, and what happened is, after the game came out, tons of people were pissed at the company because they weren't going to resell it. Um, the debate is, it's not just a skin, it's a whole new Jason with new pluses and minuses. You see how amazing he is, and I'm actually really geeked that for a Let's Play, we get to see him in action. Because this guy's a beast. But yes, Tom Savini, the special effects master, this is his Jason. Now there I am, is Chad and my sweet the leg uh, Halloween costume, and son of a bitch if I didn't start right near one of the main objectives of Cairo. So Jason will visit me shortly. So one thing we need to do, and one thing I would encourage you to do in that case, is to grab some shit and get out of there. Um, check all the drawers, check every door you can in a room, because if you don't, the next guy will, and if you miss a weapon or a tape, anything important, it's because they grabbed it. The other thing I would encourage you to do, and people bitch at me for this still, is I still shut all the doors and lock them. And I know some people say, well, it doesn't matter, it's just going to break it down anyway. Yeah, that may be true, but let's not make the job easier for him. As a counselor, you want his life as difficult as you can get it. I do not troll Jason, however, um, just because I think it's shitty to do. Um, and I play both. I like everybody to stay to the end of the match. Therefore, I will not be trolling Jason. Sorry, guys. Um, I do play things in the sea, and here somebody's already going through shit, so that's fine by me. I don't really care. I just want to make sure that I get I get from me. Normally in here there's a first aid kit. Nope, not today. I thought there was anyway. No, there is not. There's nothing they want in there. Um, you'll find maps, you'll find car keys, you'll find all sorts of stuff that's useful. Uh, the phone fuse is one that you're going to want. Um, now you'll wonder why the outfits are different. There are little DLC packs you can get that are different things like 
uh, Halloween party outfits, and I thought that was highly appropriate for a game about Jason, so I got it. I really don't want to go near that car. Um, if you see this area, it'll say maps right there, so you get it, you get a map. Why is that important? Simple. The map tells you where every... And aside from the obvious, the map tells you... You can do this, though, if you don't have the map. You can still check all your shit, but the map will give you a better understanding of where things are and what you're going to be doing. Um, I don't like that sound at all. That, that wakes me up. Did somebody just drop my phone keys? Oh, somebody did drop this, so I'll take it. Somebody dropped the phone keys and then took it again. And there is JC. You can see Jason. He's that little thing on the map, and shit, I think he's gonna come for me. So we're gonna go and grab this home piece as quick as we can. I'm probably not gonna make this. Because. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. Whoa! Oh, that's a brutal one. But what we're gonna do is watch the rest of the map. Uh, the, the, the match and enjoy it. Um, as I said, I'm hoping we have a chance here, and you'll see what I mean about the Jason thing. And relax out there, parents, this is PG-13. Um, they were very adamant, the developers, about there not being any nudity in this because of... Hey, who's this? I have no idea what's going on here. Over here, follow Tommy. You can tell, um... <laughs> Some of these books are trying to get organized. Satan's Baby Toe House. It's not Spencer. So clearly, their name isn't Spencer. But this is what I'm talking about. Now, while you're Jason, you can hear them if you're close enough. Um, which is a reason why it's good <coughs> to use stock on occasion when you get it. Because you can also eavesdrop and hear their plans. Now they're calling oh Tommy God. Jarvis. What happens is, oh, and they got the phone on at the same time. Now you see that timer there in red? That's all they need to do. Somebody just tried to team kill somebody else, but it doesn't work anymore. You used to be able to kill other counselors in this. It got to be such a problem. Oh, it's me. I'm coming back as Tommy Jarvis. It looks a bit like Conan O'Brien. Thank you. This is Tommy Jarvis in part 5, I believe? 6? I think 6. Let's make this shit count then, people. The shotgun has one shot, but it'll drop him faster than other people, and I have a first aid spray and a knife. You knife, you stab in him, and we're good to go. So, my objective now is to get all of us out. That's basically what I'm here to do, is to make sure that everybody gets out and needs to get out when they need to get out. Um, some things can still kill people. Uh, traps placed in front of windows, which is a dick move. Don't do that, guys. But yeah, that one will do it. Oh, yeah, Tommy also starts with a radio. getting the hell away from Jason at this point. We only need three minutes and something to go. He is so pissed. We need three minutes and something to go, and then we can get to the cops. So that is kind of what we're trying to do right now, I believe. Um, God, I'm getting... Run, 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 run. I can't, I'm stuck. Oh, come on. I'm stuck. 
So basically, he hasn't went and got the car. He is really going to come after Tommy, hardcore. Um, but I think I'm going to leave. <laughs> I just feel it because I don't want to leave anybody else behind because my role is technically like the team player in this. Um, we got two minutes, then we got to get to the cops. So what I'm going to do at this point now is duck down, check the map. Um, I believe the cops go there, and they go there. They will not go anywhere else, and we are not near the main damn road. So we need to get to the main road very quickly. Unfortunately, we need to go near the giant behemoth that is Jason to do so. Um, but Tommy's not fucking around this time. So we're just hitting the main road. You can see it there in a the mini map, and then we're going for it. The problem is now, doing this is also going to make a lot of noise. And there are a lot of them back there because they're trying to hug that car and get the hell out with it. Which is admirable. But I'm not playing with that. Um, so sorry guys, I know Tommy's normally a team player, but that's a, that car's a two-seater and I have no illusions that I'm not going to be on that puppy. Now most Jasons around the 58 mark will start walking this road. Or at least keep an eye on it, and where the cop exit is, they will try to go. I don't have a weapon, um, but what I do have is a pocket knife, which gives me all the advantage I need to get out of this. So now I just need to stay alive for that time. Uh, so we're going to check my map again, Let's see if the car is moving. If the car is moving, there's something moving toward me. He's around here. Dude, I do not like this at all. <laughs> I even want to say Harry, what is his name? Mad Freeney, I believe, came back to do the music. You can see here, these are the objectives, guys. So that tells you what happened. The two-seater, I'm really excited at that. <laughs> I've never seen them hit two objectives at once like that. That was insane. Okay, so I need to go north this way. So we're going to do this slowly, pace ourselves, because what's happening here is while I'm doing this, he is going to be following someone. And I don't want that someone to be me, because horror movie rules. You never want to be the one that's being followed in a horror movie. You can see we're not that far off. We're being a little sneaky beaky about it right here. They're running ahead of us, I uh, and I think they're going to be the ones who get nabbed by them. Although I personally don't know, so we're just going to run like a bat out of hell and hope for the best. Don't even wait, just run. I'm not playing. And that, folks, is how it's done. That's how you survive the match. Uh, so you saw two out of the three objectives hit. Oh, there we go. Crystal Lake 5 -0. Um, I've survived like that before and just never hit that. So, I don't know, maybe that one was bugged, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so today that one works. And at the end of a match, Jason returns home to Mom with her creepy-ass reassurance. And also the creepiest laugh. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. You watched a little bit of both. I didn't get shit for experience because I, I died so easy. Um, but that's the second end of experience. And I got my little patch there. Um, so I do find it funny that somebody was named Toe House. Because I just think of like Toe House cookies. And we've done that. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As you can see here, I'm uh, slowly taking away at getting that fourth case and unlocked. Um, but anyways, um, weigh in on this controversy of the the too easy to stun Jason. You think he's still tough? I don't know. You guys tell me your thoughts on it in the comments if you want. Again. 
I'm Bones, uh, Gary's the other dude on the channel, along with Shelly. We're going to have some mystery guests coming up in there down the road, I suspect. Um, I know they've been talking to a strange-looking puppet in the swamp, so I don't know if they'll be joining us. Uh, I haven't met them yet. Uh, I've seen them from far away off in the swamp. But I'm reading and looking out the window, and Gary's been out there chilling and talking. And I know he's a puppet. Suspend your disbelief for a minute and enjoy the moment, people. Chill out. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. Share these videos with your friends if you like them. If you have a favorite, share it on your Facebook or whatever. Let us know the ones you've shared. Uh, put it on your Twitter sphere if you like to tweet. Can you tweet, tweet, tweet a lot? Whatever it is. Uh, and of course, give us a like. Thank you guys very much. Have a good day.